called and told me that my brother died. Um, we, um, we were not very close anymore, I won't explain why, but um, I figured I had to write this for him, and it is called Only Half the Story. He was a troubled man. He had a good life, but let demons in to do him in. In his struggles, he almost died a number of times, and even his family pushed him away and only heard the news of his death after he was already cremated. And it makes me wonder if our love for him was ever, ever went completely away. Because after all the mistakes were made, I want to believe that he's worth more than what his demons reduced him to. I want to remember that when I worked retail, he bought the biggest teddy bear through me when he just found out his wife was pregnant with their first child. <laughs> I suppose that was a fun way for me to hear the news too. <laughs> I, I want to remember how he'd come inside after plowing too many streets to count were filled with feet after feet of snow. <laughs> that little icicles would be hanging off his mustache from his breath. I want to remember that he once built an airplane from scratch <laughs> so that he could sit in his own cockpit and fly himself into the sky. <laughs> I want to remember him picking me up from the airport when we decided to pay the airport parking machine with pennies, <laughs> dropping pointless pennies, then laughing at the repurposing pennies and that were once only wasting space in his truck's ashtray. <laughs> I want to remember that a friend from his youth, who was shorter than me by the time I was 12, <laughs> that this friend decided that my nickname was Shorty. <laughs> I want to remember how when I'd see him swim, he'd wear tiny Speedos. And that might seem strange, but he got a college scholarship for this. He was a near Olympic diver, once in competition with medal winners like Greg Luganus. And he'd go to the diving board, and suddenly this concrete construction company owner sprung up with such skill as he flipped through the air before making the tiniest tear and splashing next to nothing through that sheet of water that would shatter like glass through the sky if anyone else did the same dive other than him. You see, I want to remember these little slices of his life these windows into his acts of kindness. How he was the kind of guy who would want to take the shirt, give the shirt off his back to a man in need. I need to remember this because I want to believe that he wasn't always lost. I want to believe that even though he erred, we should no longer condemn him but condemn the thing that did this to him. So I try to not remember the demons, but remember the man inside. I want to believe, and this is why I must remember. <laughs>